Moving the plan forward, British Prime Minister Theresa May is selling her agreement for Great Britain's exit from the European Union. The British leader citing her deal's tough measures on immigration as one of its strengths, May reinforcing her resolve to see this process through to the end earlier today. My job is to get the best deal. Parliament must then examine it and do what is in the national interest. We have in view a deal that will work for the UK and let no one be in any doubt. I am determined to deliver it. Here now, director of the Thatcher Center for Freedom at the Heritage Foundation, Niall Gardner. Now, your reaction to Theresa May's comments and her handling of the Brexit. Well, uh, good morning. Uh, I have to say that uh, Theresa May's handling of the Brexit negotiations have been absolutely uh, disastrous. In, in effect, it's really been a surrender to the European Union, and the proposal that she has put forward is completely unacceptable. It uh, basically uh, makes Britain subservient to the European Union. It does not take Britain outside of the EU customs union. The UK will not be able to sign free trade agreements, including with the United States. Uh, so this is a, a deal that does not restore British sovereignty and self-determination and freedom to the British people. So Theresa May, I think, has not lived up to the promises she made to the British people earlier. Uh, and in many ways, and this is an appalling, weak need deal, offered by the British Prime Minister, which is uh, being uh, heavily opposed by a large number of MPs within her own uh, party, and she's faced a wave of resignations. There will be more resignations to come. She could indeed face a, a vote of no confidence later this week if enough Conservative MPs come forward to call for such a vote. Night, uh, James Freeman here with the Wall Street Journal. Uh, it sounds like you're uh, more in the camp of wanting uh, what we call a hard Brexit. You feel like there would be an opportunity for the UK out of the EU to do a trade deal, perhaps uh, join our new, uh, our new NAFTA, USMCA, perhaps other moves. Uh, can you give us uh, your forecast for if uh, Britain leaves the EU completely? Well, and Brexit is definitely taking place on uh, March 29th, uh, 2019. Uh, it's a matter of what kind of Brexit it is. Uh, and the British people in 2016 uh, voted in huge numbers. 17.4 million Britons voted to uh, leave the European Union. They, they understood that they were leaving the single market and the customs union when they voted. Uh, that was the, uh, the key uh, message uh, from the Vote Leave campaign, the official campaign to vote uh, to, to leave the European Union. And so the British people want to see their sovereignty uh, restored. Theresa May's deal does not deliver that. It's far better, I think, for Britain to uh, either renegotiate this, uh, this new May proposal or seek a no deal. Uh, Brexit, where Britain trades with the rest of the world under WTO uh, terms and also trades with the EU under WTO uh, terms. It would be far preferable, I think, to what Theresa May uh, is, is offering, which is a deal that shackles Britain indefinitely uh, to the European Union. That's not what the British people voted for. Is there anyone, I mean, I'm curious, because it was so divided when, it, when, when Brexit was voted on and there were so many people who wanted to stay. Is there anyone right now who looks at this deal and says, I'm happy that we're not doing a hard exit? Is there, is there any of the, the constituents here who said this is, this is what we should be doing? Well, certainly there are, uh, you know, some supporters of Theresa May within the within the Conservative uh, Party. Uh, there are also, I think, big business interests who have backed uh, the Theresa May uh, proposal. There are also uh, many business leaders who are opposed to this deal uh, as as well. Uh, so certainly there has been a mixed reaction uh, to this. But if you look at the public opinion polls. Uh, there's less than 20 percent support for the Theresa May uh, deal right now. It's deeply unpopular. There's a lack of trust in the prime minister. She's no Margaret Thatcher, Theresa May, that's, that's for sure. Margaret Thatcher would have negotiated a tough deal in the British national interest. Mm -hmm. In addition, uh, Theresa May has pledged to hand over 39 billion pounds to the European Union for nothing in return. I think yeah. the, you know, the British have been treated with utter you know, disdain and contempt by, uh, by the European Union. And this is sheer blackmail from the EU here. So it sounds like you're not, not give a in to these Theresa demands. May fan. Is that fair to characterize you that way? Does she need to go? I, I have to say she's been hugely uh, uh, dis disappointing. And I think that if she faces a vote of no confidence, there is a very good chance, I think, that we could see a new prime minister by the end of this year.